We have Daniel. Daniel with us on the march. Daniel, what are your feelings today? I mean, it's difficult with anything like this. Same story the world over. Yeah. But you've got to be here. I mean, yes. Like, what are you going to do? Sit at home? Yeah, that's the least we can do. Yeah. There are there are children being put through mince machines. Yeah. Every I mean, when, when you see the dead bodies, you Probably. you see their body parts. They look like they look like they've been like through a mince machine, yeah. and and the politicians and some of the journalists have an audacity to still deny a genocide. Well, that's because yeah. England and these Western countries—they're all in bed with Israel. Yes, they are. Like, and, the politicians are, not the people. Of people, course, of people course. are all we're here. here. We're yeah, here. Absolutely. But I mean, this is why these things are important. Yes. Because the message of our country from yes. our leaders yeah. is that they're in bed with Israel. So yeah. they're not going to speak about it. So in, events like this are so important yeah. because it shows what the people here truly believe. Yes. And but they're, they're not listening, the Daniel. Over. They're of not course, listening. The course. politicians are not listening. But Yes. Why? So how do we change that? I think we should well, get active. Yeah, we no, should get I mean, active. You, Activism. You can't change things yeah. without a voice. Yes. You can't change things without noise. Yes. I so. think we need to have different politicians. Of course. We need to have more noble, moral, yeah. uh, hu humane politicians because these guys are well, it's big business. It's a, it's a business for them, and yeah. they are actually endorsing. Yeah. Oh, they and are got complicit. An unelected politician in office, like yes. If, yeah. if there's an unelected politician making decisions on our behavior, yes. what we can do, yes. the, what we've got to do is make sure he knows, they know. Do you, do you see any here. violence? Really? Do you see any division? Of course not, man. Humanity of course not. has come, become one. Here we have people from all walks of life, all different backgrounds, different religions, different ethnicities. They've come together because they feel, they feel that we are one family in this. Mm. Okay, The mm. people of Gaza, are not just an exception. It's about humanity. It's about protecting, saving our future. Because if this can happen in Gaza, Daniel, yeah. this can happen in other places. Anywhere, anywhere. Because they, anyone can walk yeah. into any territory, massacre the population, and then claim it in the yeah. name of some kind of political ideology. I mean, or something. England's done its fair share of that over the well, last hundreds of years. All, all civilizations mm, have a share in it. But when will we wake up is the question. When will we actually call a spade a spade? Yeah. So I just thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, and and do you have a message for humanity out there? All the audience who are watching right now, there are thousands yes. of people, they'll be watching this. There's nothing I can say apart from how fucking ridiculous is it that shit like this is still happening in a world where people are so aware. And there's still so many people who can't see this shit. Yes. So this is why we've got to. That's why we need here, to be more active. Awareness, yes. Talk, yes. And have communication with people. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Daniel. Right, Thank man. you. Thank you. Nice Good talking to you. To you. Right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Solidarity. Hi. Hi. We 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 are today on the march, and we all know why we are here, right? We are here to defend humanity, to protect the children of Gaza, and and they are the children of humanity. What are your feelings? Well, that's why we're here exactly. I mean children anywhere universal human rights is what it's about i think isn't it whatever whatever but killing children or kill, it's disproportionate absolutely absolutely totally disproportionate and this is the least we can do it's, yeah well you i mean what can you do you have to stand up and walk and yeah. talk and speak about it that's the point and you show have, your voice, Alison, say a word. I think you have to bear witness. No one person's life is worth more than another's. Absolutely. People talk about children, that's emotional. It's about people yes. and standing men, women, up. And, yeah, men and it's women and children. who are saying who are, we want a decent world to live in for everyone. Absolutely. And that, that's, that, that's why I'm That's here. such an important point. What world are we leaving behind for our children? Yes. Exactly. I mean, if you those, remain silent. Those kids now at the moment. I used to work for Save the Children. That was my job. I've got colleagues who are now in Gaza right now. Hor horrified, of course. You know that. Yes. We all see the news. But it's absolutely... To, to, to damage children's mentality about the world is one thing. Yes. To kill them is completely... Absolutely. Outrageous. It's, it's, 
you see, but, it's I mean, not... you're breeding a group of children who are afraid, who are who have PTSD for, who for have life. Who have PTSD, who yeah. are shocked for life. Yeah. It's absolutely... So it's not about the ch I mean, it's not only about the children who are dying, no, no, no. it's those who are living exactly. with the trauma for the rest of their lives, they will be traumatized. With all these people, they talk about elimination, yes. but then what happens next? Yes. yes. We've got to think of the world of our children and our children's children. Absolutely. And they've got to start thinking the right way and not kill or be killed. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank yeah, you, Tom. No, you're quite right. Thank you, Tom. Anyway, Th thank you for talking to us. And, and we really appreciate what, your support. What, 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 are you, are you going to Yeah, it's going to be, yes. It's going to be channel, it's, on right? what channel? Dawa to Seoul. What? Dawa to Seoul. Dawa to Seoul. Just remember that. D-A, yeah. D-A-W-A-H, two, uh, two as in alpha, uh, uh -huh. sorry, no, numeral, two to Seoul. Yeah. Uh, we'll write it down for you. What's your name? Flora. Flora. Ready? Hi, we have Flora with us today and we are in London. This is uh, today's Saturday, 11th of November 2023. Britain is marching against the genocide that's taking place and we are asking for ceasefire. Yeah. yeah. How, how, what are your feelings today, Flora? Well, obviously, there have been a huge number of different emotions I've moved through, but the message I've decided to put on my sign is one that we're calling for a ceasefire. Um, marching today on Armistice Day. Armistice was a ceasefire. Absolutely. I don't pretend to have the answers for what a lasting peace looks like. Yeah, but this but is... We are gathering to say it is not okay what is happening. It Absolutely. is so far from okay. We are horrified. Absolutely, and every single person here is horrified. We have seen images of children being ripped apart, men, women, and children who are who have nothing to do with the conflict. They're being bombed right now. And this is why all these hundreds of thousands of people, possibly a million people, are asking for one thing, ceasefire, from yeah. all backgrounds, from all colors, from all religions, from all ethnicities. We have come together as one family to ask for ceasefire. Stop the killing right now. Thank you, Flora. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.